Today we are installing the KRSB1 strut bar for the 2012 to 2013 Kia Rio. Tools recommended. A quarter inch ratchet wrench, a medium extension, a long extension, a 12 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. We will begin by removing the battery starting with the negative battery terminal using the 10 millimeter socket and then transfer to the positive terminal. Once both terminals have been removed we will use a 12 millimeter socket to remove the center bolt holding the battery. With both terminals removed, the battery should come right off, leaving a bracket and large bolt holding the battery at the bottom. Your next step is removing the ECU bracket. There are two bolts and one nut holding the bracket. Begin by removing the top nut, and then proceed by removing the two bolts at the bottom as seen. With all the bolts removed, you will then get the ECU bracket by the side and lift it up, removing it from the top. We then move to the other side of the mount and remove the ground cable, as seen. We then proceed by placing the bar on top of the two mounts. A good tip is putting something similar to a book in the center to keep the bar balanced. We then proceed by getting the ECU and beginning with the top bracket, install it. A friendly tip would be bending the top bracket just a little bit so it fits in snugly. We continue by installing the ECU bracket in reverse order beginning with the bottom two bolts. Please tighten them with your fingers first before using a ratchet or tool to prevent any stripping or cross threading. We then proceed by tightening the two bolts. We return the battery to its original location. However, when installing, we use a slight angle so as to fit in between the strut bar and the filter. We then Begin with the positive battery cable and tighten it with a 10 millimeter socket. <clears throat> Shortly afterwards, we pull the battery slightly towards us to allow clearance for the positive battery cap to close. We then get the negative battery cable and tighten it using the 10 millimeter socket.
with the battery slightly pushed forward. We will install the bracket using a 12mm socket and bolt. The bracket is on the bottom, it makes it easier for you to clamp it down. We then proceed by installing all the bolts for the bar, finger tight, as seen. With the two bolts supplied, please install them on the other side, finger tight. Finally, with a 10mm and 12mm socket, we tighten the four bolts. Please be careful not to over tighten them. Lastly, you make sure everything's properly tightened and connect the OBD2 diagnostic connector. This should complete your install. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new bar.